Welcome back to another review slash presentation of a new cooling fan kit. Basically it's a dual fan kit and it's for the Raspberry Pi 3.2 and B+. It's from 52Pi, the company, located in Shenzhen, China of course. And here on the back you can see a sticker with the compatible boards. So it's a processor Raspberry Pi B plus 2B and 3B. So nice uh, simple kit. The price is twelve dollars. So I'll start with the unboxing and we'll see what's included in this package. Okay, first of all, you have two types of conductive tape for the heat sink one should conduct uh, it faster it's the thicker one here and uh, there's an option for the more uh, wide one here you can see here so you need to pick which one will fit better in terms of uh, heat conductivity and here's the dual fan on the heat sink you can see here pretty cute good quality this uh, plug uh, connects to the Raspberry Pi GPIO interface you also have a user guide here included it's pretty much simple and explains everything here you can see the pins which pins you need to connect the connector so very simple nice here on the back you can also see an additional uh, heat sink a copper heat sink pad with a one side sticker you put it on the RAM on the chip of the Pi so it's an extra uh, addition for the kit so very nice two fans here on a single uh, heat sink good quality you can also use the thermal paste here without using the stickers that's an option so that's it thanks for watching and see you next time back to the second part of this mini review and I'll show you exactly how the dual fan heat sinks uh, to assemble it on the Raspberry Pi 3 I have right here with a standard case so first of all you need to remove uh, the, heat, uh, the fan here because it will not fit with additional fan with this specific standard case okay second you have here an option to put a thermal pad or heat sink made from copper also included but I'm not going to remove this one okay so this one covers the memory chip on the back side of the board and you need to remove existing heat sinks if you have them so basically this one I have here on the CPU on the Broadcom CPU and the secondary was on the LAN chip network chip like this so I removed them and I used it to remove them and these two to basically remove all the sticker here, the conductive sticker so first of all you need to select the best thermal tape option you have here the thicker one looks much better I think after you select this one for example you need to remove the one side the sticker and basically put it here on the board covering both chips so I'm going to do it without it so here you can see the unit covers both chips here you just need to connect it to the right pins for connecting the right pins you have the instructions here 
So you just need to co connect it here. So that's the pin you need to connect here. Okay, and you just need, to, of course, connect it to the power supply unit. And I'll show you exactly how it works without using the sticker, of course. So you can see it works pretty quiet. very quiet operation so no no noise from this unit again you need to remove any additional heat sinks and also fans this fan will not fit with this unit inside it so you need just to remove it and that's basically it for the dual fan unit Hope you enjoyed my quick review, thanks for watching and bye! Back to the last part of this video where I'm showing you my Raspberry Pi working with the dual fan uh, cooler heat sink. So as you can see right now it's connected through the pins to the GPIO interface header pins and it uses a 5 volts uh, power supply so it's the Raspberry Pi 3 and you can see the fan spinning and it's pretty quiet no extra noise here also you can use the ceramic sticker also provided with this uh, kit. This one is the thicker one, maybe uh, 0.5 millimeters, maybe a more, a bit more. And I'm using the 3 millimeters uh, sticker, also provided. So you basically have two stickers for mounting the heat sink. There are no holes for the Raspberry Pi for mounting any heat sinks, so you need to use the sticker option or a thermal paste. Uh, conductive terminal paste solution so that's the only option very quiet no extra noise and I'm using right now a, a 2 amps 5 volt power supply unit with the Raspberry Pi and I'll show you the temperature right now of course the case is open and the system is not loaded, meaning the GPU and CPU are not loaded right now. So with an open case, I'm getting about 34.9 degrees Celsius, which is a pretty okay temperature. Of course, if I'm going to close the case with the top cover, I'm sure it will rise about 3 degrees, 4 degrees maximum. So open case. Pretty nice product and I really recommend it. Very quiet fans here. So basically thanks for watching this quick review and see you next time. Bye.